G'day guys, Greg here. Now it's cooking time and today we are going to whip up a delicious chicken bolognese. It's meaty, it's vegetable-y, and well, it could have a little bit of spice in it too. So anyway, let me show you what I'm using to make this. Well, I got some chicken mince here on special of course. I got two garlics cut up, small onion, one carrot cut up. I got a little bit of spice here. I've got some Italian herbs there. I'm using some chicken stock, a tin of diced tomatoes, and you might even need some tomato paste if you've got it. Now we've got here some bacon. You don't have to add this, but well, <laughs> come on guys, it's bacon. <laughs> need I say any more? I've got a bay leaf here as well and well whenever I'm cooking chicken I always like to add a little bit of lemon because lemon and chicken is a match made in heaven. Anyway, let's start cooking. All right, well I've been heating this frying pan up. Is it warmed up yet? Oh, oh God, yes it has. So I'll just add a little bit of olive oil in there. And next I'm adding the chicken. Now it is a little bit frozen still because, well, old grey guy likes the budget. So if I get a chance to save a few bucks, oh, I will, don't you worry about that. And I like to buy it and then stick it in the freezer and then use it one day. So I'm just gonna cook this until it's nicely browned. And while I'm cooking that to brown, I'll add in the bacon too because, well, I want to sort of at least get that a little bit crispy, you know? So we'll brown and crispy up that bacon. All right, well, that's taken about five minutes. Now, I like to add some lemon juice over the chicken. It's not too much, but it sort of just gives it some sort of flavor. And hopefully some of that will absorb into the chicken. Next, I'm gonna add the carrots and onions. And I'm just going to stir that through and we'll just let that cook for about another five minutes just to soften just a little bit. Okay, once that's been cooking for a while, I want to make a little bit of space over here. A nice bit of dry pan on the bottom because I want to add the garlic with the bay leaf as well. I've got my mixed Italian herbs, some chili powder, just a bit of that and I just want to let those toast just for a little bit on the bottom there just so you can smell all those flavors come off it which I can oh and boy does it smell good now I've just got a bit of tomato paste here which I'll add in mix that together And then we'll just mix it all through. Mmm, oh man, this smells good. Now I've got a little bit of stock here, which I'll just add some of, and I'll add a bit of water to water that down. Oh yeah, that looks and smells really good. Now something else you can add into this is just a little bit of milk. That's if you want to, you don't have to. But sometimes the milk just gives it this nice little creaminess. And you'll notice that the meat starts absorbing those juices and everything, so that's good. Perfect. Now I'll add a little bit of pepper here. A 
and my tin of diced tomatoes. I'm going to turn the heat right down on that. So now we'll add the lid on here and just let that simmer for, well, until you're ready to eat it actually, about half an hour at least, uh, even up to an hour if you really wanted to. Now come back and stir it occasionally if you have to, and if it gets too thick or is looking too thick, just add a little bit more water or a little bit more milk if you want. But no, that's looking good. So I'm just going to let that sit and simmer away and do its thing. We'll come back a bit later and serve some up. Okay, well, while this is doing its thing, mmm, that sauce is thickening up nicely. Let's get some pasta on. All right, well, that should be ready now. So we'll drain that off. This sauce. Mmm. Oh yeah. Looking nice and hearty. Might turn that off too. Alright, well, let's serve some up. The old spag in. Some of that delicious looking bolognese. We can finish it off with a cheese of your choice. I've got some parmesan here. And there you have it. The old Grego's chicken spag bowl. Mmm, mmm, mmm. How good does that look? Nice and hot. Perfect for a winter's meal. Mmm. Oh man. Oh. That tastes so good. Oh man. Mmm. The chicken and bacon together just really go nicely. Well it does on a hamburger and it should here too but all those flavours and spices blended together just give it a real nice flavour. There's a little bit of heat from that chilli that I put in but besides that it's a really tasty dish and I can't wait to make it again. Well I hope you enjoy this recipe and if you do make it let me know what you thought about yours. Was there anything else you might have liked to have added to it? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time I cook something. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's kitchen.